guys and welcome back. Thanks so much for stopping by. You have seen this face, this hair, and this t-shirt in, or you probably won't see it in this video because I think I'm going to post this video first, but you will see it in a few videos because I've sat in this chair in the same outfit and just filmed two videos and now I'm on my third video. So um, yeah, I'm on a roll. I'm being productive. My husband's golfing and I'm just banging this shit out. Um, so Typically, I like to film when he's not home because A, I'm more comfortable talking in front of the camera. When he's home, I feel like I'm like, I don't know, I feel a little awkward for some reason. Um, not that he cares that I do this or passes any judgment whatsoever, it's just me feeling awkward. So I usually like to get all my filming done when he's gone for the day, like perfect days or when he's out golfing. So I also like to sit in our family room kitchen area. And obviously, when he's home, he's usually in this area. So long story short, I'm getting a lot of filming done today. So today's an exciting video because I'm actually going to do a Halloween beauty hack video. Now, there are so many incredible um, Halloween makeup tutorials on YouTube. I mean, I sit and watch them and I'm just in awe at the talent of these people. But with that said, the vast majority of us cannot apply makeup like that. We can't tra transform ourselves into incredible pop art zombies or really realistic looking like wolf people or witches. We don't have special effects. We don't have like liquid latex and fake blood and all that stuff. That stuff is incredible. It's amazing to watch and it's so entertaining. But for the vast majority of us, we just don't have those materials and or the skill. Like I know myself, I can, I can apply makeup, I can be creative, but in terms of fully undertaking something like one of Nicole Guerrero's Halloween videos or Desi or Crispy, that is a lot of time, effort, energy, and money. And a lot of us just don't have that. I mean, I'm a real person. Like, I work every single day. Um, I have a full-time job that I love, and this is just an amazing, fun, wonderful hobby that I will never get up, give up, and I absolutely love it. But I don't, YouTube isn't my full-time job, and I can't sit down and spend six, seven hours on a Halloween tutorial. It's just not realistic for me. So long story short, what I decided to do today for you guys was three relatively quick and easy Halloween makeup hacks. So this is basically like you want to do something Halloween-y, you want to do something cool, but you don't have the time, energy, money, or motivation to do a full-on makeup look. So I'm basically going to do three, three things that you can wear to work if you're dressing up for work, you can wear out, and it's just going to make you feel festive, it's make, make you going to feel, oh my god I can't talk, it's going to make you feel like you're in the spirit, but it's not going to take you hardly any time and it's not going to take you much money at all. So with that said, let's jump in. First. Yeah, I'm not going to claim to have invented these things, I'm going to give credit where credit is due. So I did find these on... Um, Instagram or Pinterest. So this is the first one I'm going to recreate. Now I'm going to use different colors. I'm not going to use these bright pastels because I don't have them. And I imagine a lot of us don't have these. But this is from One Makeup Wish. Um, this is where I found it. And the, there's somebody tagged called at April underscore Christina with two A's. So I just want to give credit for this where it's due. Um, I'm not inventing this, but I am going to try and recreate it on some level. Now, um, it looks like in this picture the person used liquid liner, but I am going to try and use a pencil instead because it is easier to remove. Um, and this is, a, this is a practical video for practical everyday people, so I want it to be easy to remove and I want it to be easy to do. So without further ado, let's jump into that first one. Okay guys, so as you can see, I'm wearing my fake septum ring because I wanted to feel cool for my Halloween makeup tutorial. I got this off Etsy. You can easily find them off Etsy for pretty inexpensive, and I just think it's fun to wear sometimes. Me, me, me. Okay, so let's jump into this first one. Um, for this, I'm using products I already have. I'm using two Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lipsticks in the color Heathers and in the color Bloodline. It's a red and a deep burgundy. Now, if you do not have these colors, do not fear. Use whatever you have in your makeup collection already. The great thing about this lip look is that you can literally use it with anything and it's still gonna have the same fun effect. So I'm gonna use these liquid lipsticks because um, they're going to stay put. So if you wear this out, 
um, for a Halloween party or something, it's going to last. So I'm going to start off with the darker color Heathers and just focus this on the outer perimeter of my lips. So essentially, I'm focusing this on the outer portions of my lip. And then I'm going to take the red color. This is a very true, rich red. And I'm going to apply that right inside. Basically what that does is just create a nice um, gradient and a nice deep lip for Halloween. So I'm going to go back through. Touch up that. Okay, so now that our lipstick, liquid lipstick is applied and dried, and again, you can see the edges are not perfect, and that's because we're going to go through with our black liquid, or not liquid, our black lip liner, and we're going to go around the whole lip anyways. So, you can absolutely use a liquid eyeliner for this. Um, it might be more precise and it might be more clean, but I'm going to try this first and see how it works. This is from Obsessive Compulsive Cosmetics. Um, it's called Tard, and this is a nice product for um, Halloween makeup because um, you can use it on any part of your face. You can use it on your eyes, you can use it on your lips, so it's very versatile. So. Step one, I'm just going to line the outside of my lip. like that. Now I'm going to draw some lines through. You want your line to be kind of straight so you might want to make your lips a little bit taut. Just like that. Now the only thing left to do is draw little X's and dashes to um, replicate stitches. Yeah, so I definitely see why they use a liquid lipstick, because this is definitely not um, refined enough. Okay, and there you have the stitched lip look. Um, it's not perfect, but again, this is for the everyday person, and this is Halloween, so we want to have fun. We don't want to worry too much about it being perfect. Um, but it definitely does give the effect, and it's a fun little Halloween hack. Okay, so for the next hack, we are going to be using our OCC lip liner again, and we're going to make fake um, cheek stitches. So, I also, I think I got this one on Pinterest, I believe, yes. Um, and it's by at Mandy G Makeup. So I got this one off Pinterest, and I'm going to do something similar. It's not going to be exact, but it looks really easy, so yeah, we're going to go with that. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Tarte, or not Tarte, um, OCC lip pencil and just mark out with a dot how far out I want my stitches to go. And I'm just going to do one side to show you. So then I'm going to draw a line. Connecting. Just like that. Then, and this is super quick, so then 
I'm gonna do some dots that's going to show me where my stitches are gonna go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna draw in the um, line from the top dot to the bottom dot. So now we wanna create a little bit of dimension in our stitching. I'm gonna go back and thicken up those lines just a tiny bit. And then I have this NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk. It's just a white um, crayon, eyeshadow crayon. And I'm just going to gently add some white inside the black lines. And if your pencil is getting too muddy, just take a paper towel and wipe off the top to keep it nice and crisp. So if you want the white to be even more pronounced, you can use a liquid, a white liquid eyeliner, and it won't get so muddled in there. So we're actually really close to being done. The only thing I'm gonna add is a little bit of a red toned eyeshadow. So just take any blending brush, and I'm gonna mix this color here. This is from the um, Urban Decay Electric palette, and this is the color Jilted. So I'm gonna take a little bit of that, and a little bit of just a matte black eyeshadow and mix them together and create a little bit of like an irritated look around the edges. And there's that second one done. Okay, last but not least, on the eyes. Now, I'm gonna keep this as easy and simple as possible because I do think you can get super elaborate with this, but we're not going to get elaborate. We're gonna be doing a spider web. Eek! No, no! We're gonna be doing a spider web right around the eye. I'm going to be using the same black pencil again. So, it is completely your choice to, um, I'm just going to buff over the eyelid a little bit to take out some of the oil. It's completely your choice whether or not you want to add some crazy colors on your lid. If there's ever a time to be a little adventurous with your makeup, it is Halloween. So go for it. So just to um, provide a tiny bit of color, I'm just going to be taking a few colors from I'm just going to be taking a few colors from the Urban Decay Vice palette and just mixing them together and buffing them sort of all over the eyes. So that there's no rhyme or reason to this at all because the color is not going to be like pretty necessarily. It's just going to be a mix of lots of different colors. but I'm just gonna start there. All right. Now, let's see if I can take a sip of my coffee with my ripped mouth. Oh yeah. Okay. I think I'm getting a little like delusional because I've been sitting in front of the camera for like two hours now. <laughs> okay. So the first step I'm gonna do is create lines of varying length from above the crease all the way around. Now 
Now we're simply going to um, draw some arced lines in between our in between our lines that we made. Okay, now this pencil is tough because it is dragging a lot, so I'm not going to get really super precise lines, but that's okay. Because it's Halloween, we just want to get the, our point across. We're not worried about being on the cover of Vogue right now, we're just worrying about looking creepy. That's looking pretty good, actually. Now, we have a lot of crazy, kind of like sloppy lines going on, and that is because we used an eye pencil and not a liquid liner. So, feel free to go in with a wipe and crisp up any of your lines. See, it's hard because I put foundation on, so it's not gonna look, we'd have to retouch our foundation, but that's okay. but feel free to go in and crisp up any lines that you feel are a little bit too sloppy. Now at this point, You can really be creative and add glitter, you can add studs, you can add um, some really crazy false lashes, you can just do whatever, but this is literally something that anybody could do. It doesn't have to look perfect, it just has to get the point across. Um, if you want it to be more crisp and clear, use a liquid liner, like I've said 10,000 times already, but this pencil is going to come off nice and easy. It's 100% vegan and cruelty free, um, it's very... Uh, gentle on your skin and that's why I chose this for this whole look. Um, this guy kind of faded so I'm glad I already took a picture of him because he, I was like I resting my hand right there and um, he kind of rubbed off so sorry about that. But this is the finished spiderweb eye look. Okay guys so that finished this video, finishes this video. I really really hope you liked it. I hope it was helpful for you. I hope this gave you some ideas that you can actually achieve um, cheaply, quickly, and just have some fun with Halloween without going too over the top. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, share, all that good stuff, and I will see you soon. Thanks.